Hi everyone, today we're going to have a look at the new manual measure preview inside of Fusion 360. This is going to allow you to use basic hand tools to make inspection reports for the components and parts you are making. The first thing we need to do though is actually make the parts. Let's jump on the machine and make this part. Okay, so while our part's machining, let's set up our inspection sequence. We've been given a drawing here that shows us the important dimensions and tolerances of the features we need to keep on top of during our production run. I also know the inspection equipment I've got to measure it, so I can now define this inside a fusion, so every time I make the part, I can rerun the same sequence, measure and then create a report. We now need to define our measurement sequence. We can see here the inspect surface toolpath looking at the more freeform surfaces. But we want to define manual inspection items for the geometric features on the part. Remember this functionality is in preview, so you'll need to turn it on in your preferences first. Now manual inspection is active, let's head over to the probing tab, inspect, create manual inspection. This is going to allow me to select different surfaces on our part to inspect. It places the nominal dimension on the component that can then be adjusted to your preferred location. Let's give it a meaningful name, apply the correct tolerance, add any comments, and set the camera position. This is where the view will be oriented later when we're inspecting the part. I'm now going to follow my drawing requirements and set up the full inspection routine. My inspection routine is now fully defined. I will run the inspect surface toolpaths on the machine before it has been removed. Then we will inspect all of these additional geometric items with our hand tools. Now our inspection routine is fully defined and our machine in cycle is finished. Let's go grab the part and start to inspect it. Remember, when removing parts directly from the machine tool, make sure to remove all the swarf and give it a quick visual inspection as well. Swarf can cause huge problems when inspecting components. So we've got a range of equipment here today. We've got Bluetooth calipers. So these are going to actually measure the component and then send the data directly into Fusion 360. We've got a wired micrometer that's going to do pretty much the same thing. We've got a digital height gauge, and although it's digital, it's not connected, so I have to manually type the data across. I'm then going to have to try and remember my college days and how to read a vernier scale, as we've got an analog bore gauge. So we did some inspect surface probing on this before we removed it from the machine tool. So let's quickly import those results like we normally would. So again, probing tab, actions, import inspection results, click on that first off inspection, and select those. We can see here that we've got well, we've got one point there that's a bit of cause of concern, but let's carry on inspecting our part completely. So now I'm going to select my folder with all the manual inspect items in, go to inspect, and record manual inspection. Perfect. I can already see the view orientation has changed. It's facing me. I've got my comment there telling me to use the calipers and I've got the nominal display already. But one quick thing to mention is because I've already got some inspect surface results imported in, I just want to change the measure to that first off inspection report. This then just means that rather than making a new measure, it's going to put them in the same folder as the inspect surface results. So perfect. Always check your device zeros out correctly. Now I'm going to hold it in the correct orientation as shown on the screen measure the part, and press that data button. It's instantly changed to the next feature. It's got my nominal displayed for me as well. Now to use the height gauge for this measurement, it's the drop between this face and this face. Again, most important thing, zeroing it out correctly. And that's 5.03. Now, the thickness between these two faces, I'm going to use my micrometer for this. Good. 
much like the Bluetooth calipers, take the measurement, hit the data button, and that information instantly gets transferred into Fusion 360. I've now got the drop between here and here. Zero. And that's 15.01. This rectangle at the back. And now my bore gauge. And that is 20.03. So we can see there that that was a really nice, easy process. It was very prescriptive. It was talking me through, changing the view, showing me the nominals. It really just removed any of that ambiguity that can exist in the inspection process. So I can see everything now. I can see my inspect surface results. I can see my manual measure results. And I can look at these inside the products with the show results page. So let's have a quick look at this one there. How bad was that one? That was, that was 12 microns below my lower tolerance, which was 100 microns. And then I can have a quick look at my inspect manual measures as well. So it looks like that base rectangle it's got a problem as well. Both of those there are out by about the same amount. So I probably need to do a bit of probably tool wear compensation to get that back in again. Another thing I could do here is I could actually save inspection report. So that's going to now go to Fusion Team and it's going to put a 2D inspection report on the cloud as a permanent record. That's for anyone else in my organization that needs to look at it or maybe even a customer that's going to want to look at this part before I supply it to them. So that's really nice to have that permanent record of that part in its current condition. A top tip here is that the CAD view taken at the very top header is actually set when you hit that right click save inspection report. So remember to pre-position the CAD in a position you want it to be in. So what happens when I've got another part? Let's say I'm inspecting every part or periodic inspection like one in 10 or one in 25 throughout my shift of production. Well, much like the process before, we're going to import the inspect surface results and then we're going to quickly use our measurement equipment here to complete that inspection routine. Perfect. So I've now got two measures, each containing the individual measurement results for each of my parts. I can save those out as permanent records, or I could just leave them inside of Fusion as well. So again, this is a preview functionality. We are working on it. We're really excited about some of the ideas we've got for going forward on this. But please give us feedback. We really appreciate it, both positive and constructive criticism. So thanks very much for watching, happy inspecting, and I'll see you again next time.